this is Annette Freiheit, Superintendent of Pine City Public Schools with our monthly update from the school board and district. Our school board meeting this month was held on Tuesday, November 13th. Our school board members attend the Minnesota Rural Education Conference, which is held in Brainerd on Sunday, November 11th through Tuesday, November 13th. So in the month of November, we always move our board meetings to Tuesday evenings um, when they come back from the conference. We are a, our district is a member of the Minnesota Rural Education Association and this association provides advocacy and legislative um, support um, for school districts that are in rural Minnesota. It's an important organization that provides a lot of opportunities and support for our school districts. So um, their attendance at the conference provides good learning opportunities for our school board. At the November 13th school board meeting, I want to first highlight the positive happenings that was presented by Becky Schuler. Becky is the director of our fall and, and spring uh, plays that are presented. This year they did Willa, Willy Wonka. It was an excellent performance. If you weren't able to make it, you missed a good one. She did highlight that we had over 1,500 people attend the performances that were done over the weekend. So great job. It was a wonderful play and looking forward to what they provide in the spring. And they will also be doing the one act play coming up here in January, I believe. Um, highlights from the November 13th board meeting was the canvassing of the election results. In our Pine County, there were 5,713 votes casted. So thank you to all of our community members who got out and voted. The top three vote getters for the school board elections was Candace Ames, uh, Jacqueline hutchins Cavillan and Lisa Noss Tollefson. The three ladies will be taking their oath of office at the January organizational meeting. Um, and uh, just wanna thank everybody. We had 11 candidates running for the school board, so thank you very much for your indication of participating in our school district. I also wanna highlight, um, now that the snow has started falling, just a reminder that we do have our uh, school emergency notification system up and running. You should have received a notification uh, a couple weeks ago. If you have not or are not on the list, please check with the district office or contact Diana Fetter to make sure you're a part of that. But there's a lot of decisions, um, a lot of factors that go into making a decision in regards to closing school. Number one is the safety of our students and ensuring that our buses can uh, get out on the roads that they need to get onto. So if you have any questions in regards to that, please go to our homepage and way down at the bottom of our um, webpage, you will notice um, that there is a letter um, highlighting what the um, parameters are for us to make the decision to call school or to close school early or to start late. Um, and you will find it right here, um, click for weather related busing information. Um, and this is the letter that will come up there. So. I um, want to wish everybody a very happy Thanksgiving. I know from the district we want to thank all of our parents and students for being the wonderful people that they are and our community's support we are very thankful for. So go ahead and make a Dragon Day. Thank you.